Hey guys, welcome back to AX3 Gaming. My name is Alec and welcome back to another episode of WWE Supercard. In this episode, we're gonna play through some Clash of Champions. So let's get right into it, guys. Okay, guys, welcome back to Supercard. It has been a little bit actually since we played, uh, not that long, maybe a week or so. But honestly, not much has changed in that amount of time. I'm not doing very well in PvP here. We got Clash of Champions this week, guys. A lot of things going on. Some interesting things we'll get into, but before we get into anything Clash related, let's take a look at my deck here. Quite a bit has changed from last episode. Starting off with Ricochet here. So we got that second Ricochet. Didn't end up getting the Heroic, which was fine. It, it, I did the math and it was going to end up costing me some credits and stuff so i'm like you know what forget it i don't need the i don't need the heroic but as you can see here the regular version is quite powerful this is in a momentum slot right now obviously so it is a bit overpowered but so is this uh sammy zane or uh, yeah the sammy zane is also in a in a uh momentum slot and still like everything is like two to three million less than it is for ricochet so the event cards are quite powerful for this road to wrestlemania tier at least the pros are as we can see here uh, i kind of previewed what else we got which was another bianca belair to make a pro there so that was from the quest that we took a look at last week so i ended up completing the quest and then upon completion of the quest i got another bianca belair card which is once again a very powerful pro indeed once again a special edition pro here but not even and in a momentum slot but still not really that close to ricochet like ricochet is still head and shoulders above once again those event cards are quite powerful indeed uh other news we got another sammy Zayn here so our fourth sammy Zayn to make a double fortified other than that not many other pros except for i did get indy hartwell here which was another uh road to wrestlemania pro and my second pro female so i got a pro female i got the pro females a lot quicker than it took me to get the royal rumble 22 females which which I was quite lucky indeed. The only problem is that Bianca and Indy obviously don't tag here, as you can see. So that's a bit, a bit unfortunate, but hopefully I'll get another one soon. Uh, maybe the event coming up maybe for a woman i don't know it might be too early still and then after that i use, also use the 15 cars to go ahead and get sean michaels here this sean michaels card which i did switch the picture to the other one i don't know i just like this one a tiny bit better and it does still fit the theme perfectly kind of looks like he's riding in the tank right now <laughs> that's underneath him but anyway uh yeah i use the 15 cards to get this since we did get a second bianca from the quest we knew that we were going to redeem for sean michaels and that's what we did i have not gotten too far in getting more cars here i only have three out of 15 13 days left i don't know if i'll get another one or not but i am pushing for it uh hopefully i'll get one more sean michaels make two pros there we still have the other quest i think starting tomorrow actually uh so we'll get into that hopefully i'll get a sean michaels from that to make a pro and uh and i'll have a pro, pro of each of those special edition cards other than that i think that's really the, all that's going on as far as my deck changes just a quick pause before we continue the video guys as you know i am an avid pop collector as you can see from my shelf back here and the one right behind my head here i have a lot of pops and my preferred place to get funko pops is pop in a box they have pops from hundreds of different franchises they have different ones like ellie here from the last of us there's michael scott from the office they also have some pops that are exclusive to pop in a box like this metallic venomized deadpool and of course we have wwe wrestlers like the rock and drew mcintyre as you can see here all these pops are available on the pop in a box website plus thousands and thousands more but they are only available while supplies last so make sure to go onto the website and grab your pops and one of the coolest features of pop in a box as well is they have their own subscription service but once you subscribe you can choose from a bunch of different categories like tv shows video games or even marvel every month pop in a box will send you a random pop from that franchise and the best part is, is you don't know what it's going to be, but they'll also never send you duplicates as well. So it's possible to get awesome high value exclusives like this Carnage without paying more than you would for a regular pop. If you guys wanted to grab some of the pops like I have back here, or if you wanted to sign up for that subscription, make sure to click my link below and sign up today. Now let's get back in the video, guys. I've not been progressing that quickly through road to wrestlemania even though i am in road to wrestlemania plus plus as you can see here uh but i haven't been progressing that fast just because i haven't been playing that much other than events i've kind of for the last couple months not months uh maybe months a little over a month maybe i've just been playing events really like other than that i haven't been playing money in the bank haven't been playing pvp haven't really even been playing survivor i've just been playing when the events are on so i don't know i i, I found like i'm not as motivated <laughs> 
to try and get those cards as I used to be when I was in those lower tiers. But now since uh, every time a tier comes out, I basically start out almost in the plus plus of that tier. I'm not too motivated past like the first week or so to try to get those cards or once I get a couple pros, I should say. Uh, but anyway, other than that, we'll get into some Clash of Champions here. There is something going on weird i don't know what's going on but anyway we got roman reigns versus high chief peter maivia which i don't know their relationship to each other i feel like they're related somehow um uh, peter maivia i guess is some is related to the rock somehow maybe a uncle or cousin or first cousin or something like that so then maybe it would make roman reigns cousin too or i, I don't know i don't know there's probably some relation between peter maivia and uh and uh roman reigns let's see let's see if i can find online anyway it's just giving me the entire tree i don't know i'm not going through their whole family tree right now anyway they're somehow related i think but yeah as you can see here a lot more people picking roman reigns than peter maivia i don't think he's that much of a legend or that like he's not talked about that much on tv especially and like i'm sure he's a legend i'm sure he's one of the greatest but uh yeah he's not he's definitely not as popular as roman reigns is as you can see here roman reigns almost tripling or more than tripling actually his his points here for clash of champions i chose the roman reigns team but um i'm gonna play a match as i talk here clash of champions i don't know what is going on oh did i not finish this bout okay i guess i didn't finish this bout last time i don't know what's going on but like it seems like nobody's playing uh right now i'm on on play arena 80 76 i think it said and i have 5,000 ish points and i'm like rank 1000 like I, I, I literally have not been even playing that hard. Like I haven't been, I haven't been going that hard and trying to get this card too hard. I've just been playing probably like a normal amount, maybe even less than I usually play uh, for the events. And I'm, I'm doing like I'm, I'm one of the top ranked, top 1,000. So I don't know what is going on. I guess a lot of people are just not playing. Although like it is pretty early in the road to WrestleMania tier still so i don't know why people wouldn't be playing uh maybe it has something to do with the fact that it's clash of champions i don't maybe people don't like the clash of champions events i don't know i haven't heard people really like i hear, hear the usual complaints that people complain about like every single event but uh i don't know it seems like i guess nobody's playing this uh this road to wrestlemania or sorry this uh clash of champions here uh which is fine with me that <laughs> means i'm gonna get the event card for sure probably a really powerful one at that i think like if i do end up probably in the top 2000 i think roman reigns is definitely going to be a better card than ricochet is so he'll probably be my top card here depending on where i actually rank but yeah I, at one point i was like all the way up to like 800 even so like right now i'm kind of lagging behind even so i don't i don't know what's going on but anyway let's let's go through here let's try to find peter maivia see if we can beat him but yeah what's uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. great so like i said i've been playing as much super card as usual which I think this is becoming usual now. Me not playing Supercard too much is becoming usual. But yeah, let me know what you guys, if you guys are playing Clash or, or, or what's going on or if people just aren't playing or or maybe I just have some like wild strategy that nobody has been able to figure out, but I don't think I do. Like I feel like I'm just playing normally. So basically on the first, like I just go through and obviously the champion stays in the same place on the board at all times so uh, i just kind of go through and i go through one side if he's not on that side then i start on the other side and i just keep going there you go i found him uh until until we find him so and then what i basically do is on the first round so you have two rounds right so on the first round of superstars i try to use the one stat i try to choose the one stat as much as possible so on the second round i'll have more of a chance to not hit a decrease stat and hit the top stats um and then once we go through the second time i try to just do the one with the most probability that i'd, I'd win which i think is a pretty standard way to play this i don't know Maybe, maybe nobody knows how to play or maybe just, like I said, maybe just nobody likes it <laughs> because honestly, I'm not a, like, it's fine. It's one of those ones. It's one of the events. It's fine. Like, like I said, I'm not a fan. Of, I'm not as much of a fan as the ranked events as the regular events. And then this one on top of that, like the gameplay is not that riveting. Like there's a bit of thinking behind it, but you just kind of got to go through the motions. And it's one of the ones where you also got to pay attention. I don't know what is wrong with my internet right now. Yeah, and that's about it, guys. There's, there's really not go much going on right now. One thing I do want to take a look at before we go, though, is that we got this we got this bit of news today that the next event is actually going to be Road to Glory. So if we looked on the calendar, originally there was no event scheduled for next weekend. It was kind of blank. And that's where my thought came in that they might be doing the new event because there was a big update coming on the 30th. But lo and behold, there 
it's nothing new it's just road to glory which actually doesn't make sense in the rotation because we just did have uh road to glory three weeks ago uh so it should be either war games or clash of champions or sorry not clash of champions war games or giants unleashed uh but it seems like maybe they're doing a big update so they just wanted to do something safe like road to glory and, and just get it over with and not do something that might complicate things and, and not go right so i think they know that road to glory works and they're able to master it if anything goes wrong so uh it's an event that they can kind of be in control of so i think that's why they're doing the uh road to glory which is a bit unfortunate because we just did we just did road to glory so uh maybe people want a bit of a break from that but nonetheless it is coming it's better than freaking war games so that's for sure <laughs> So I actually don't mind the, the Road to Glory coming back for another time this month. And then on top of that, you see in this announcement as well that we have Road to WrestleMania equipment coming pretty soon. So that's probably going to be some powerful equipment. I'll show it off once I get some. Yeah, that's about it, guys. If, and one last thing before we go here, I forgot to show you show off the Road to WrestleMania ranked event cards here. So once again, we've got the Western theme. I actually don't mind this as much as the other road to wrestlemania cards it does look a tiny bit cooler with the, like the vultures and like the desert type look to it but once again it's not my cup of tea i'm not a huge fan of it but I, even though i do like it a bit better than the other ones it's still not amazing in my opinion and i think that the next tier needs to be a lot better because we haven't had an amazing tier in quite a while actually like like this whole season has been kind of pretty good but not great right like valhalla was good Valhalla was good. Maelstrom was good. Pretty good. Meyer sucked. Royal Rumble 22 was okay. And then this Road to WrestleMania sucks. So hopefully the next year is going to look a lot nicer than that. But that, that's about it for Supercard, guys. I'm going to go through this Clash of Champions. Hopefully get a really powerful Roman Reigns card, which is really going to complement my deck. And I think I should be good on my top eight of being all Road to WrestleMania pros, which is going to look pretty awesome. This is my current standing right now. And it's awesome because Roman Reigns is going to tag with Ricochet and Angelo Dawkins. It's not 100% perfect just because I kind of want to keep to use Roman for my singles matches right off the bat instead of saving them for tag teams but if we were also able to get a pro sean michaels that'll be perfect for tag teams there and we'll have a perfect for uh we'll have a perfect thing for tag teams it'll be awesome all right guys and that's about it for another episode of supercard i hope you guys did enjoy this episode i'm going to go through some more clash of champions but in the meantime if you did enjoy this episode make sure you hit that like button it does help me out a lot also right underneath me here there is a subscribe button if you guys want to click that to get notified whenever i release videos so you do not miss one then over on the right we got some more videos if you guys want to keep watching thanks so much guys